Let's see here. Testing one, two. Ah, there we go. I was not sure if you guys were hearing me or not. Apparently you guys were. I don't. Give me one minute. Want to test something real quick? Give me one minute. Testing one, two. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're good. So, I do got, uh, I got concrete somewhere around, I think in my chest. Oh, we got a village over there. But, um, now the reason I was in the hospital for extended stay is because of uh, dizziness. So, let's work on the um, staircase down. Antiperspirant. No, the stick. I have the stick. I have the I have the stick. Yeah, that's why you should always read, okay, uh, again, the audience, uh, you should always read the ca uh, cautions on the back of your uh, deodorant and antiperspirants, because if you have health issues, it may have, uh, affect you in a certain way. Or do not use. Yep. Well, please got to remember a lot of stuff. A lot of your uh, look. Look at your patch, uh, Mrs. The Mighty. Um, it's soaked through the skin. Your medicine. Yeah. Think about it, our skin soaks up so much stuff. That's also you gotta check makeups too. It's not that. See what we see what we're gonna work with. Uh, let's hear. Oh, I'm out of concrete. Uh, let's see here. Do I have any uh, gravel left? Uh, yeah, I got a little bit of gravel left. Uh, I don't want pink stairs. I want concrete spears. Uh, let's see. Uh,
Okay, there we go. That's gravel and sand down there. Oh, I really need to get some... Um, part of the sea. And some other stuff. Well, I've been slowly also leveling this. My visit was only like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful here. I'll be planning. I'm going to cut that one down pretty soon for the resources. Oh, what am I doing? I need, oh, I need that. Oh, I am going to need more chess. Here, what's in here? Another week and a half. Well, not so. well another week. Another week I can start. Actually, uh, a week tomorrow. No, a week today I can go, uh, start to semi solid. Yeah. Yep, sounds familiar. Again, uh, you never think, but especially if you have a, 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 a renal uh, failure or kidney disease, 
you never think about um, within the products that you use. It's, uh, it's also including uh, some of the foods that we eat. Make sure you read the caution labels, like the um, the off artificial sweeteners and so forth, uh, like uh, NutraSweet. Uh, when that first came out, uh, six months after, after it came out, they were supposed to pull it off the market because they found it did cause cancer. But uh, the, the, they they uh, pay, they they paid off whoever they had to pay off, and the, the caution was pulled to the wind. And the, I'm I'm going all the way back to the late seventies, early eighties. Now, sweet and low, they already knew about the causing cancer, but. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, for people who are diabetic, that's the only thing they got is the nutrient sweet and sweet and low. Yeah, and that's why. Um, I mean, even at a young age. Well, me at a young age, I was, they called me a special kid, but I, before I would tr eat or try anything, I would actually, especially something new out as far as sweeteners or new flavors, I would do research on it, make sure, it, okay, is it going to be safe for me? Or is it going to cause me problems uh, 10 years or 20 years down the uh, road if I keep eating it? Uh, believe it or not, candy bars do not make you diabetic. That doesn't mean you should just uh, continue eating candy bars all the time. But you have to have a balanced diet to go with it. I had a balanced diet to go with my uh, my sweet attack. I, I ate a healthy breakfast. I ate a healthy lunch. I ate a healthy dinner. Plus all my sweets. And uh, I was always underweight when I was younger. I'm actually getting back down to where I should be now. Um, I I ended up being overweight um, when my mom was um, had end-stage renal failure. Because it was one flavor of Boost that she didn't like, so I ended up drinking it. And it helped me put my weight on, but I went above my weight. Now I'm back. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm to my top end of my uh, how much I should weigh. Now I need. I like to lose about another 15, 20 pounds. That way I'd be in the middle. That way I don't have to worry, worry about if I gain lose a little bit of weight. If I, if I gain a little bit of weight, I'll be right in the middle. Now, if you have like certain symptoms, like if you have. Uh, Constant uh, chronic, I'm going to say chronic dizziness or constant dizziness. Seek, seek medical help. Seek medical help. Um, like me, I had a choking issue. A lot of people say, oh, that's not, not too bad. It's like, yeah, but when you start aspitating because you can't get the food or liquid down, I mean, for me, it started with just liquids. I would. Uh, well, most of my life, I was always on the run. Not mean, not meaning on the run from the law, but constantly going. I mean, um, so my teenage years, I pretty much ate standing up all the time. So I never detected my choking issues because gravity was helping pulling everything down compared to when you're sitting down. And now. Um, that's was well. That's my um, hospital stay. Um, and uh, they're trying to figure out what's going. Why I can't, couldn't, why I couldn't eat. Oh, I want shares because I want to save some of these leaves for bushes. Take care of that in a minute. Um. Give me a second here. There we go. There we go. Uh, I 
right, so let's get the climb of this tree again. Go. Let's get some leaves here. Um, but like I said, if I didn't keep um, my wife didn't keep keep pushing me to see a doctor about the food getting stuck and so forth. I mean, I used to turn uh, bright red and even blue sometimes from uh, because I had a hard time getting food down. And for me, it turned out to be the uh, muscle at the bottom of your esophagus. The uh, uh, sphincter muscle. Uh, let's see, I got. I want to save some of those. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's get this, start chopping this down. There we go. Okay, we got most of that taken care. A chance to pick up my stuff before it despawn, so that works out good. Get the leaves, so I can make some bushes. It's gonna make this whole thing look really nice. I'm gonna uh, plant another mangrove here in a little bit. I want to make, I want to plant one closer to the water though. So I might dig up this mud and move it. I think I will. So yeah, how much room do I got? I got plenty of room. Well, I'm gonna need a new um Alright, so we're gonna move this closer to the water. I just haven't figured out where yet. Yeah, I, I knew that was gonna happen. You guys knew that was going to happen too. Okay, um, but like I said, if she didn't keep on pushing me to go see a gastroenterologist, um, went saw the gastroenterologist, and um, they did this off stretch, and then it's like, first of all, I was just choking on liquids. And then after they did this off stretch, I started choking on liquids and solids. Which confused the doctor, so I uh, had the fluoroscope. Then the fluoroscope uh, showed um, that the um, sphincter muscle, or the muscle at the bottom of the um, esophagus, was at um, opening, and that uh, was filling up really quickly with fluid. And even after they had me stop drinking, about 15, 20 minutes later, they're still taking the fluor fluoroscope to me, and they say it's still staying, staying there because the muscle wasn't letting it go down. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think that's enough dirt. I hope. Here. 
let's uh, move that up there, move this down here. You know, I think I'm going to go over here. I want to make it look halfway decent, so I'm going to extend my dirt out. The grass will spread out as needed, so actually I'll probably make a lot of this mud. I haven't decided yet. You know what? Let me go get the go get my water bottles. Not thinking about it. should do that now. Um, I mean, uh, where I work, uh, people were scared for me because every time they saw me, I'm choking. scared of me uh, I mean it, it, it was scary I, I, I won't deny it it was scary for me too as far as being uh, about my choking and so forth I mean it did scare me uh, I didn't want to do that there we go that looks better and put one more over here that looks better I'm not really great at landscaping, but so then it's like I went to see the the, uh, the surgeon and talk about the, my options as far as that muscle goes, the different uh, procedures they could do, and one of them was to stretch the sphincter muscles, but I would have to go back every couple of years. And again, I'd be on liquid diet and so forth and so on. And have and let's just say I mean like a, a uh, what was it one point five percent chance of damaging the esophagus that went th down the esophagus because they also would have to cut into the esophagus. It's kind of complicated, but uh, there was like four different options. I picked option number three, uh, which was a robotic surgery. And so I enjoy them happy with the, that option. I'll put that right there, see that how, how well that grows there. If I like how that goes, I might expand, uh, expand it out this way. I haven't I haven't decided yet, and I might do some over here. I gotta see how how this works, how that looks. Um, you know what? I might speed up the process. Let's let's get rid of some of the supplies I got in my inventory. Um, after the surgery, I mean, um, they did the uh, another fluoroscope. The next, uh, I went in for uh, Friday, Saturday they did a fluoroscope. Everything went down beautifully. I was able to eat. Um, Lunch and dinner that um, no dinner that night, which was again uh, was to have cream of yeah cream of potato soup, which uh, was well blended, and um, vanilla yogurt and um, pudding. No, yeah, pudding and ice cream. So, I had a very good meal. Let's see what's in this one. That one, okay. Alright, so let's grab the mangrove logs. Oops. Uh, let's see, there we go. That's my 
the only thing that has to go in here is the mangrove roots and the logs and tropical when I, um, when I get extras. And then this one will be this miscellaneous stuff, 64, 64, 5, vines, carpets. And I think I have these down here. Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, nighttime again. I'm hoping to get started. If not, I'll be working on this this evening. Let's see here. This is only going to be a short broadcast. Uh, I'll be calling it quits another half hour or so. This is just to talk about my surgery. I'm going to talk a little bit more about my surgery while no romance on tonight. He's also going to be streaming tonight. He's also learning how to stream. Um, but it does feel good to be back. Uh, you know, I didn't even see who's on. Nobody's on. Okay. No. Oh, it was up there. Let's grab half of those. Oh, I still had some. Never mind. Don't need any. I still have boat mail on me. But I can uh, get rid of the brown flesh. Is there anything else I can get rid of? Uh, so is dirt in there? Yeah, dirt's in there. Okay, there we go. Well, let's see what this one looks like. Alright, so we are going to stand right here. Ooh, that turned out beautiful. And we got two proper gales this time. Good. Oh, that looked... Uh, uh, this one actually looks better than the last one. Okay, perfect. And I'll, I'll harvest those proper gills later. And uh, I think we're going to put some more my long, long hair later. And put a couple, put another couple. And put some over here. I think that they'll go really well with the uh, fishing uh, pair or the boat docks or whatever you want to call it. I mean, this, I'm, I'm very happy with them. I normally have wavy water. I guess I, I get that uh, turned off because of my slow, slow computer. All right, now let's get back to work. But we do need some more gravel. Yeah, um, actually, I'm not that far from the, you'll laugh how close I am to spawn. Oh, I do love this. This looks really good. I used to, uh, concrete for the lower part, white concrete for the lower part to make, give it a really good look. And there's the iron farm that we built. Like I said, there's the um, spawn in. But yes, this is an island. It's, it's not attached to anything else. I will be uh, making my island a little a tiny little bit smaller so it's not as close. I mean, there's only like a six gap difference, six or seven gap difference between the one island and the other island. Now, that one man built his a little bit, um, I think, east of mine. He claimed an island himself 
a little bit east of mine. He's going to start building on there. I guess we decided not to go too far from spawn in case we need to help people. But uh, we at least have a got a few things built. But uh, the reason I spent a couple extra days in the hospital was because I was um, dizzy after the surgery. And then I also had a uh, urinating problems. Because uh, it was a three hour surgery, I had a catheter and so forth. And when they took the catheter out, I couldn't go to the bathroom. And when I finally did go to the bathroom, I went a lot, but not enough. I did not empty. Uh, when they, uh, they had to put the catheter back in me. And uh, I. I filled up the bag. I had like 1,600 milliliters of 14, 14, 1,600 milliliters of urine still in me, which is overfilled for the bladder. And, um, and apparently, I'm still. Having, I mean, I'm still. Put, I'm putting that much. I mean, it's uh, that's not a normal amount to be putting out. And this is uh, one of our new players. He does ask that you. He has the Kayushi's house. He just asks uh, no stealing, uh, no snooping, no trespassing. He just asks that you stay out of his house. And we and we want to respect that. Um, I did make him upset one time because I did go in to drop some stuff off in his chest, but. Uh, for now on, I'm going to be putting a, a chest outside for him, for um, stuff uh, like he did for me. Oh, Spain, which he left me gifts too, so give me one minute. I need that. I need these. I need that. Uh, let's see here. I believe we have some copper around here, so I can make myself a other log. Of and I can take this with me. Did Nowhere Man finally take all this stuff? No, he has not. I mean, Nowhere Man has got some really good stuff. Yeah, he gave me a nice uh, diamond pickaxe. Wish I needed. And I'm probably gonna go mining later. And well, I, I mean, I have no problem with anybody making a village of breeder. Um, I showed them where we have a village to the north, just a little ways, and I told them just take one or two villages from there to make your uh, to make your village breeder. They uh, just don't take anybody that's been traded with. There's a wall around them, village, um, around them. Oh, I was looking for something else. So please bear with me. And this is like a little shortcut to the village. But my dizziness did not go away until um, somewhat till Tuesday. I, I was to, to the point where I was able to walk without assistance, which I was very thankful of. Let's see, divide that by four. I'll take those. So do I need anything else? I will take the gravel. Uh, so that is my dripstone stuff, so I'm the one who collected that. Let's see what do I have over here? No, 
put those two together. I think I might have enough XP to do that. Let's see if I can do that. Silk touch. If I do it the other way, it's still the same. Okay. So we just do it that way. enough for two more lanterns plus other is there anything else I need out of this white dye, but I can get that from the bones. Alright, so we need to break my bed. Take this down. Did no one may take the rest of his stuff? No, he does did not. No, I will not take any of stuff, but he does have two proper gills, so that's... That's here, um... Oh, I am running out of room in my inventory, I see. Interesting, okay. Carrots. Oh, you know what? Oh, that was a good harvest. there. Alright, we're going to head back to my island here shortly. I hear a spider. 
spider, so I'm gonna go ahead and go inside. Like I said, about another 20 more minutes I'm going to get off. Uh, I, got, I got running around to do, and uh, I'll be back on later on tonight. We'll probably, uh, Nowhere Man and I will probably be on for about two, two, three hours like we normally are. And tomorrow is Easter. Uh, everybody have a happy Easter. Um, another 13 minutes. Yeah, it's 200 dollars a month. Okay. 
no offense to some of these people out there. Uh, I was just talking to Mrs. The Mighty, and we have a friend that's going on a to lose weight, a um, a strict, a um, all meat diet, carnivore diet, and I I, I remember uh, being on that myself before, and it's like how much weight I've gained from just eating. Man, what on me? No, I got to adjust my as works. Okay. But I'm just eating. Just, if I'm just eating, um, oh, I need another chest. God dang it. Now, where the heck did the poppy come from? Oh, oh. Somebody turned on the iron farm and forgot to turn it back off. It's overfilled. Off. Yeah. Somebody. Yeah, these chests are so overfilled, it's not even funny. I'm trying to... Uh, let's see, I need... Okay, I got another chest. Uh, I got another, Okay. Let's see if I can build this without picking up anything else. Then I gotta do an item sorter. Oh boy, I'm give, giving myself work. chest. Oh, brother. Just me trying to fix things. Need another, need two more chests. So I can make one more hopper. A chest to put the poppies in. Perfect. Okay. See what we got over here. Like I said, I'll work on this iron farm area for a wee little bit. It's like we get distracted from one thing. Uh, again, that's a problem with ADHD. We get this. Uh, we get so easily distracted from one project to another project. But I gotta get that fixed. Uh, no wood there. Check the uh, back at the other place. I think I still got some wood over there. I really don't feel like cutting down any trees right now. Even though it probably would have been quicker. I swear I saw a baby in there. Maybe I was seeing things. Uh, no, we'll leave them out for another 15 minutes. Then when I get off here. Yeah. Uh, wood, 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 wood. Uh, it's white wool. I need wool. Come on. 
got no planks. Uh, looks like I might be cutting down a tree. I really don't want to cut down another tree, but it looks like I'm going to have to. And it's not like we don't got enough ch uh, cherry trees around here. Let's see here. Good lord. Some people actually want crazy planting cherry trees and I... They don't like what I did. They can uh, replant. Probably plant them too close together, they don't break apart properly. Oh. That's another thing I do. I'm gonna make my dripstone farm. Because I'm gonna need that later on down the road, the dripstone.
Yeah, yeah across the street. Yeah. He slams his door, his car doors all the time. He slams his car doors all the time. Yeah. Well, we got about ten minutes left for me to finish this project. I'll show up I can do it within the time frame. Because, like I said, I got I got things to do, running running to do. Then I'll be resting for the next three, four days. What? I'll be resting for three, four days. Yeah, I had a doctor's appointment yesterday. Wife well, had a doctor's appointment the day before. It's like, I'm thinking I'm supposed to be resting now. For me, this is resting playing Minecraft. Uh, I gotta eat uh, okay, we gotta eat lunch. At least I gotta eat lunch. Uh, the wife might get like and get her Long John Silvers today. You don't want Long John Silvers? No! We're going to the other place. The A&W. That's also a uh, LJS. Or did you forget about that? Okay, we're just gonna go do uh, the the habitat then. Yeah. Okay. glass up here too? Well, no, that one. I got glass in here. Yeah, but I don't need the glass. There we go. I do need one of those. Okay. Can I put this As long as I'm getting this problem, problem taken care of. And like I 
I said, we'll have to do a uh, item sorter. Then, let's see, I'll, I'll figure something out. quits here um everybody thank you for tuning in uh everybody have a wonderful um uh, day and we'll talk to everybody um later on this evening <laughs>